Welcome back to another episode of this cooking series. And today we're going to go over um, common but super versatile ingredients and what they go well with. Improve this skill and familiarize yourself with these ingredients by cooking with them and you'll be cooking like a pro in no time. And by the way, you'll notice that a lot of these uh, overlap with each other. So when I say what they pair well with, um, an ingredient that was previously listed might come up again. So just keep that in mind. And that actually goes to show you just how well these ingredients work with other ones. The first one up is garlic which was also featured in the previous video. And I think this is the top starting ingredient to have. If I could only have one starting ingredient, um, I would choose this one. And it's because it's um, the fact that you can add it to almost anything you want. It's just the amount um, that you add to any given dish that can vary. When you're working with rich, heavy stuff, you can add a lot. If you're working with lighter things, you should add just a little bit to get a slight flavor. Most of the time, what you're going to be doing with this is just frying it uh, on low heat in oil at the start of the dish until it starts to get a little bit of color, and then just continue on with whatever uh, the dish requires. And it can also be grated um, raw into many sauces for a kick of flavor, um, such as a, um, an aioli sauce where uh, you have a lot of oil and um, some egg yolks and the garlic will just kind of lift it. And this ingredient pairs with, again, almost anything, but especially onions, ginger, um, any meat, tomatoes, potatoes, and green vegetables. Second on the list is onions. Often sauteed as well, this vegetable, root vegetable, adds a lot of body to many dishes. To use them as a topping, um, you can either caramelize them separately or pickle them lightly in a little bit of um, vinegar, water, and sugar. And they pair with many soups, garlic, tomatoes, um, seafood, and butter. Third ingredient here is leek. And this is a, in my opinion, a complete substitute for onion. But the flavor is much more mild and um, more mild and um, kind of more finessed. It's less raw, more refined, and uh, very light. And you can saute as you would an onion on low heat with a good amount of oil. Um, just make sure to wash them first because they have a tendency to be extremely dirty. Probably next to mushrooms, the dirtiest vegetable. And you can even saute uh, or slice the whiter part of the leek very thinly to use as a garnish. And this ingredient pairs well with butter, milk, cream, tarragon, eggs, fish, and pasta. Fourth ingredient is green onion. And this is a wonderful garnish and definitely can be used as such. Though I like to cook it into whatever I add it to instead of um, adding it right at the end when serving. Because I find that if I do this, I can kind of get rid of the slight raw flavor that comes with it. And the ingredient goes well with garlic, ginger, rice, any soups, and anything that's on the rich side. 
Next up, we have mushrooms. And this is a food that either is going to be somebody's, one of someone's favorite food or least favorite food. For me, they're one of my favorite foods. So I try to use them as um, creatively as possible. And sauteed, they taste great. Um, just make sure that all the water in them evaporates so that flavor can concentrate. And you can also boil them in a little bit of water to extract an amazing mushroom um, stock that you can use to enhance any sort of soup or um, dish. Incorporate them into pasta, uh, soups, and sauces and you will be very impressed with the flavor you get. Mushrooms pair with butter, garlic, cream, parsley, tarragon, and lemon. The next ingredient is the first one that is um, not so vegetal, and this is olive oil. And you can use it in way more than just as a cooking oil lots of sauces like an aioli and just to drizzle it on top of dishes like soups and salads and it pairs with lemon salt pepper and egg yolks whenever you're trying to emulsify or thicken make a thick and creamy sauce and next up we have lemon a lot of times you're just going to be squeezing the lemon juice over foods to brighten them up. Personally, I find myself using lemon um, almost every day. And occasionally I'll even zest some lemon over um, foods that for an even more lemony flavor. And this ingredient pairs well with rice, yogurt, tomatoes, and anything that is on the richer side. Okay, now let's get into the dairy. We have eggs. And you can cook eggs in just so many ways. Um, of course, scrambled. You have easy over, sunny side up, the typical ways to cook them. But I love to poach them. And it's an extremely easy way to cook eggs and it always is a success. And you don't have to just poach them in water. You can also crack an egg in almost any soup and just let it poach. And just wait until the white is set. And after that is done and you end up eating the soup, you'll just get this nice, uh, rich, warm, comforting egg. And eggs pair brilliantly with butter, rice, tomatoes, potatoes, and anything that is very light and could use a little lift of richness. Second to last ingredient is milk. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is you can do a lot more than just drink it or add it to breakfast related items. You can make homemade condensed milk by just combining milk and sugar and slowly reducing that mixture. Make a Bechamel sauce, which is a thickened, uh, creamy milk sauce um, for pasta or um, just as a sauce. And you do this by reducing milk with a little bit of toasted butter and flour or a roux. And so milk pairs uh, logically with sugar, butter, and flour. Last ingredient we have here is plain yogurt. And most of the time, you're just gonna use it to cool off uh, dishes and in sauces like a tzatziki sauce. And since it is a cooling agent, it pairs well with garlic, tomatoes, lemon, and a bunch of herbs such as dill, mint, tarragon, parsley, like almost any herb. And that's it for these ingredients. 
If you enjoyed this video and learned something interesting, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.